In this video, we're going to talk about another HTML element that's important to know, and that's the image element, and it's IMG is the tag name. Um, so the image element, as its name uh, implies, will uh, specify an image. Uh, so the image can um, have certain properties, for example, source. If there's no source, then the image is just going to be, um, depending on your, here the default behavior is to be gone, but for a second there you can see an icon um, that's just sort of an empty image icon. Uh, the source would be a web address where your image is found. So I just found a random image here. This is, oh, sorry. This is a, uh, sorry about that, an oak copy, which is a large animal. Um, <clears throat> we can also specify uh, height. There, so we can resize it. We'd rather resize it with width. We can do that, and so that that makes this width 100 pixels rather than height being 100 pixels. Um, we can do both, which will distort the image because its dimensions were not originally square. Um, there's also another. attribute that's fairly important, it's alt. Um, alt is what a person using a screen reader will hear, so for example a visually impaired person. Um, it's, it might also be displayed in certain um, situations. So here we have a broken image link. I just put a space in there so that the source would be incorrect. And it displays to us the alt text and this little icon that shows that there's no image there. Um, and in addition to that, there are two um, JavaScript events, on load and on error, that are not exclusively for images, but are very handy for images. So on load, we could say window.alert here. And again, you don't have to know the JavaScript, just understand that there's JavaScript going into this. And then on error, let's say window.alert dot alert there. <clears throat> okay, and if we want to test it on error, whenever it fails to load, as in if we have a, an incorrect uh, source, there we go. So uh, those are HTML images. They're very handy and you will use them almost certainly quite a bit if you do anything with HTML.